Hello and welcome to Antis TV. My name is Jet Duxbury. Tay Tay's behind the camera. Yo. And this is a Casio PXS1100. And on it, I'm going to try get across to you out there. I'm guessing you've seen the title and you're thinking, hang on, I can learn to play piano and I just need to know about screen resolution. Yes, you can. So let's freaking do it. This is squarely based at people who've never played the piano before. And the idea behind this is, I think sometimes throwing notes out at people and trying to explain the mechanics of it might be a bit much if you're just sat at the piano and you want, I think, to be thinking more philosophically more than uh, thinking technique based or getting tied down with this thing. So the philosophy is screen resolution. And one thing that I think I found that everyone understands inherently, or most people do. And so let's get to the point that what if we split this keyboard into thirds, a lower third, middle third and an upper third, and we assign screen resolutions to each third. So in the lower third, low res screens. And when I say low resolution, Taylor's a video editor, what are we talking about? 720. 720, murky. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this ain't the video for you, but I think a lot of people know about it. And I'd say you know more about that than you do about this piano, so stick with me. So down here, we've got a murky screen. The next third has something to do with the middle of the piano. So I understand that you might be a different size piano to me. This is a full 88 key piano with weighted keys. It's great for simulating acoustic piano, but you might be on a tiny keyboard. So how does this uh, apply to you? We all work from the middle of the piano and to find the middle of the piano, find your way to the middle of the piano and you're gonna have to look for a group of two black notes and then a group of three black notes. And you wanna find the group of two black notes and the white key that is immediately adjacent to this one. That's middle C. So the next third I'm talking about is from that C down to the next C and you can see that because we've got the same groups, right? There, and this is the middle zone. This third is 1080p all the way through to 4K. I'll explain myself in a minute. But so you know that down here, you are watching a really low res screen. Here you are watching 1080p to 4K. And up here, you are watching the futuristic stuff that only James Arthur's got in his house. We're talking like 8K. What's the craziest screens at the moment? Yeah, 8K. 8K, right? So it's 8K up here. Now with that philosophy, what? Check this out. On a low res screen, I would argue that you, if you were trying to communicate something, and that's what music's about, right? Even to yourself, you are trying to make something in the moment that emotes something and you can understand and enjoy. So if we were making something for a low res screen, we would instinctively know to keep it simple because we know that things aren't displayed in great detail. And have a listen to this. If I play a group of notes, any of these white notes down here, and I'll play one, two, three, four, five. And I know these are quite harmonious, but listen to this. A dirge. Just like with a low resolution screen, you could have like the finest picture of Mona Lisa, but if it's in 240p, I don't know what it is. It could be a thumbprint, you know? So to communicate on that low res, we got to keep it really simple. And that means just apply this rule. Only play one or two notes ever from this note down on the lower third, right? In the middle from, 1080p to 4K over here, we have the everyday resolution we're all used to on our phones or I'm going to go with this analogy that here is like all day on your phone, on the toilet, looking at things. And then at the end of the night, you watch it on your posh screen when you go home. So you've got like 4K up here, right? And the idea about that, again, is if you think of the screen, oh, we can put pretty much anything we want in there. So there's no limit to the amount of notes you can play in this zone. Check it out. I'm just randomly playing, but they sound harmonious, right? Same, you can put any amount of information. You can have a cricket game going, or um, I mean, a cricket game, I sound like <laughs> someone who's never played. <laughs> you can have a swimming match. Um, and then up here on the top right in lofty 8K zone, same as down at the bottom, almost with our low res screen, because it's so high definition, we don't need a lot. 
because we're just marvelling at how clear it is and how pristine it is. So up here, the same rule applies almost down here is one or two notes at a time. Check it out. If I play a big bunch of notes, I can't discern those as much as here. And just to prove it, I am randomly playing these notes. And this is what I want you to do is with those laws is think, right, if I'm in the middle, I can play any amount of these white notes. If I'm down here, I can play one or two up here, one or two. And with that, you can get going. You can even close your freaking eyes. And I'm just going to let you into a secret that all these white notes, I won't explain it. I've done other videos explaining it, but they all work together. So as long as we don't stray onto these black notes, we can start playing and you can start making some music. One great thing to do is if you can plug in a sustain pedal or your keyboard or piano has a pedal on it, the far right hand pedal, if you're on an acoustic piano, hold that down whilst you play it and that will hold the notes when you're playing it. But I'm gonna do that when I do this. Actually, I'm gonna get a assistant to apply the rules to prove it to you. I was gonna blindfold myself, but Tay Tay, if you put your foot down on that pedal and then you go, one note or two notes in the left, any amount of notes in the middle, and one or two notes in the right. And you keep doing the same thing. Keep it going. Now go back to the middle and just noodle around with some white notes. With the sustain? Yeah, yeah. I've never played before. <laughs> and then think, oh, I want to spice it up, throw one note from down in the low res, but we know it's got to be one or two notes. Any two notes down there. Now the next bit here is we can be just soft, try really soft and then loud. That's all we've got is like what note and how loud we play it. Nice one, man. Thank you. Thank you for demonstrating. Right? You get it? Try that yourself. We're not going to do any more. Even me talking about middle C. Nice one, Tay. Uh, is too much. I'm going to close my eyes and try adhere to the same methodology. And I hope that just got you going. There's other videos up here on this channel with lessons aimed at all different abilities. You know, we've recently had my friend Dan Bingham on explaining about some performance he's done on the Nord channel. We've got Mike Patrick trying to break down some really advanced concepts and there's loads of beginner videos. But this one is hopefully just got you playing. So I'm going to follow the same thing and I'm going to stay. I love this idea because it makes it simplifies it for me as well. So here we go. Thanks for watching and thanks Tay Tay again.